Hey YouTube, the opposition of Team Sorcerers here, back for another deck building challenge. Uh, this time I'm going to be making my own version of Helios, which is one of Matthew Allison Welch's uh, signature decks. Um, now, since obviously after um, the upcoming Gauntlet challenge, he's... Uh, I'm gonna retire this deck. Um, I thought I'd make my own version. Um, maybe we'll, yeah, in a way, it can still see some play, but let's see what we can do. Um, I vaguely remember his deck profile, but I wanna try and make my own version. Um, yeah, I guess we'll want three copies of Primordial Sun. Um, I think I can take a chance and play three copies of each. Don't know if it's ideal. Um, shame this reses itself if it's destroyed by battle. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, really. Uh, but maybe there's a workaround. Now, Macrocosmos can obviously special summon it, uh, which is the effect that no one ever uses when it comes to Macro. However, um, in order for these guys to be revived, they need to be destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. So Macro and D Fissure actually doesn't complement um the deck uh which is weird because this does bring out the first form um so yeah the gimmick is they gain certain points for banished monsters um so how do we get loads of monsters banished without um macro and d fissure well, I guess one way is Soul Release, which is a love-hate card, um, which I do play in my Light Ray deck, um, but that's only to so I can bring out um, Light Ray Sorcerer. Hmm. Other monsters should I play? Um, I don't suppose Thunder Speed Summon can add these. I think it's only level 10s. No, yeah, I thought so. It doesn't quite work. Um, Oh, there is Bazoom, actually. Uh, Bazoo, the Soul Eater, classic card. Um, so that's another way of doing it. Um, I also need a way to bring these guys back if they get destroyed by a card effect, so... Yeah, Monster Reborn will be an absolute must. Um, I guess Call of the Haunted. Hmm. The other awkward thing is there's no way to add these guys as far as I'm aware. Um, so I need a way to just banish a load of monsters um, and a way to get these guys into the hand. Now one problem is obviously these guys can brick. Hmm. 
I know he does play Cyber Dragon. Um, so maybe that's another option if I want to tribute summon Helios. Um, wait, Pot of Extravagance and Pot of Prosperity. Want that since this isn't the kind of deck that cares about the extra deck. Uh, well, three copies of each won't hurt, right? And I'll worry about extra deck options later. Um, <clears throat> is there a way to get monsters banished from the deck or the hand? Graveyard. And is there a way I can do it without banishing opponents' monsters? Because I don't want to do that to my opponents. I mean, I never like it when it's done to me. Um, right, there's a psychic monster that banishes from deck, but. I think it's only psychic monsters. Also, uh, just remember, what's the name of that monster that's like a card trooper but banishes free from the top of the deck? Oh, what is it called? Um... Like, I know it came out in the Dark Emperor structure there, and I know that that's what the effect is, but, um... Wait, is it Dimensional Alchemist? Yes, that's it, Dimensional Alchemist. Oh wait, it only banishes one off the top of the deck. Huh, why did I think it banished more than one? Hmm. Yeah, I guarantee that um, if I just did a search banish, um, fucking hell, there's over a thousand cards? There's got to be a way to narrow it down. I guess Infernoids would work well with them, but I don't want to play Infernoids. I despise them. Hmm. Also, another thing I've just realised is that they're all light monsters, so... I should throw an honest, to be honest. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay, I might need to look at his deck profile real quick. Um, Then again, I guess that would be cheating. And I do want to try and do this without any help. Um, because, uh, that is the whole point of the challenge.
I'm going to put my usual cards in. <sighs> Maybe I should throw a chaos ending in somehow. Back and banish three from grave. Um, and again, since I have soul release, um, it means I'd need to send a load of monsters to the graveyard. Hmm. It's a tricky one. That yeah, trooper's not a bad idea. Um Fur and Raiden as well. Let's get a light swarm engine in there. Well, not really an engine, it's one card. Um, man, this is harder than I thought. Hmm. I think I'm throwing gold sarcophagus. I can't think of another way to search for Helios and get some plays moving. And now I've got too many cards in the deck. I'm going to drop the bigger Helio Sister 2. Um, although that's the focus of the deck, I feel like having three of each might be bricky. Hmm. I'm going. Hmm. Of course, it's a forty, but is this good enough? I don't know. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of another more controlled way to get monsters into the graveyard. These could end up milling my pots. All these guys. I mean, at least if these get milled, I can bring them back from the graveyard. Um, but then I lose my banish cards. Would be another way, surely. Hmm. 
There's armor gather knight and dark grepher, but the problem with that is um I need more docks. Hmm. Luckily, this is where malicious comes in. Okay, so now it's looking more like a chaos deck of some kind but let's get rid of these um because i want to be able to control what i mill that's the thing um any any docks that don't mind being in the gray Wonder. See, I'm thinking of throwing in, um, uh, what's her name, Archfiend Heiress. Um, what would I want to you add to hand? Hmm. No, this is tricky. Hmm. Maybe Harris isn't a good idea. Why is this so hard? I've been here for nearly 20 minutes now trying to work out a good build for Helios. feel like this time I may have just met my match. Don't make the dark monster. Hmm. Dark on do I want Dark on Dragon? I have it as an option. I can banish um, Darks from the Grey. Let's just go through the levels.
just looking for discard fodder at the moment for Dark Gresher. Yeah, this is tough. Alright, any eleven six stocks? I suppose Bestials would be um, the logical option, but I refuse to touch those fuckers. Oh yeah, Kale Sorcerer is an option as well. Dasha would be good if I was um, running more heroes. Man, I just don't know. I'm just trying to look for something that won't be a brick and that I can use to special summon Dark Gretha. Then again, am I just thinking too much about Dark Gretha. <sighs> Are there other dark monsters that I can just run uh, which can complement the deck? So I'm running out of ideas here. So I'll come back to it and just start working on an extra deck. The extra X is not going to be important, though. <sighs> this is giving me a headache. Uh, hmm. I don't know, maybe I should put Carl Trooper back in. I don't know.
Maybe I should find Beatrice and uh, Dante, Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss, in case I get Chaos Sorcerer and Malicious on the field at the same time. <laughs> well, that'd be kind of cool. Um... There's also this option. Okay, so we've got the extract sorted at least. Um, uh, I don't think my dark engine's going to cut it. I'm going to put Card Trooper in because uh, I can't see another way to mill cards quicker. Wait a minute, there's Needle Sealing. Wait, not Needle Sealing. Uh, needle Bug Nest. Now I've run out of monsters. Oh god, this is going to end up being an absolute clusterfuck. <laughs> I just know it. If anything, um... I can always discard these guys to special dark breath huh? if, if they become bricks. Should be okay though, because um, the chaos monsters and the dark arm dragon are not the focus. Uh, they're just there to banish. Forty six. That is quite a lot. Um, I'm going to try and cut it down as much as I can. Um, and in case I can't control the mill that well, my Solemn Strikes can instead be Breakthrough Skill. Which apparently I can't spell. I guess that'll do. Um, I don't know if it's one that'll work, but it will have to do, because I'm really stuck for ideas. Um, we can't really make it without <sighs> cheating and looking at how uh, Matt and Alison Welch did it. So yeah, that is it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for my third and final one that I'm going to do for now. Oh, <laughs>